Hey everybody, I have another unboxing today. Um, yet another product from Chewy. Um, Chewy, it's a Chinese, based in Shenzhen, they make uh, tablets and laptops, and I've been using this stuff a lot and I like it. So, excited to test this out. This is the Chewy Hi9. It's an Android tablet, as you can see, 8.4 inch display, but with a 2560 by 1600 resolution. That's very damn high for a screen that's only 8.4 inch. So you see the specs here. So let's just get to the unboxing. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside first. 8.4 inch tablet, it's a um, pretty good size for gaming. I think it's probably a little bit small as a work device, but it's good for gaming and probably good for watching like videos and movies. In terms of doing work, I would prefer something that's a little bit bigger, like 10 inches or something. So you have here the warranty cards. Chewy just released so much products that uh, they basically have have one for every need. You want a laptop, they have it. You want a small tablet, you want a big tablet, they have it. Two-in-one devices, they have it. Okay, so this packaging is pretty bare bones. Not as nice as the other Chewy packaging that I usually unbox. So you have a plug and a charger. This is, ooh, it's not a USB-C. So it's a USB-A, so it's a USB 3.0. Unfortunately, I would have liked to see it go to USB-C. So not much in the box, that's it. So I like this matte black back, but this is a uh, plastic. It's, it feels a little bit hollow too when you tap into it. So this is a, a budget, this is a mid-tier build. It's not as nice as the Chewy Lapbook Air. So the Chewy Surbook, which I have here, is awesome. Awesome build quality, awesome display. Just a beautiful piece of gadgetry. And then you have the Chewy Surbook, which is a two-in-one tablet and this is all metal. So this is very premium. So. Chewy's capable of building premium devices, so this is obviously a more of a mid-tier device with this uh, kind of plastic back. It feels a little bit hollow, actually. But it still feels nice, and it actually looks nice. I like the black. So this, I believe, sells for 100, 170, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, so it's 178.99 on gear best right now. The Chewy Hi9, it's a gaming tablet. So... 64-bit quad-core, GPU is a GX6250 with 4 gigs of RAM, so my favorite part, oh yeah, yeah, so this is very light, very plasticky feeling, which is fine, because at this size, this is probably portable enough that you're going to be bringing this out and about. So you don't want something too heavy anyway. This is like, I can hold this in one hand without feeling tired. I can probably hold this for a long time. So perfect for gaming or reading. So you might uh, be noticing that I'm doing an unboxing at a different area in my bedroom actually because the living room table is full of shit right now because my mom is visiting from California. My mom is here from LA. So she has her luggage all over the table. So there's like no room for me in the living room. I have to hide in my room basically all the time now. So, okay, I'm gonna set this up really quick, play with it, and I'll come back. Hey everybody. So I've been playing with the Chewy Hi9 for the last three hours now, doing exactly this, just gaming. And I, oh, sh and as you can see, the graphic, ah, I can't talk and game at the same time. So as you can see, the graphic looks great. And this 8.4 inch display, it's, it's brilliant. Colors are very vibrant. Viewing angles are really good too. So, been on this for three hours now and I'm kind of addicted. This tablet is awesome. It's awesome. So I know earlier in the unboxing I mentioned, I kind of said the build quality wasn't, uh, wasn't that um, premium, but I kind of take that back. It's actually pretty good. So I like the plastic back. It makes it lighter, very easy to hold. And I actually like that the edges of the display, it's kind of chamfered. It kind of curls off into the side of the device. Because usually, so this is a T-Class T10. Usually when you have budget Chinese laptops, 
the the edges are very sharp like the pa panel is completely flat and then it just drops off right here suddenly and there's a really sharp edge but on the teak on the chewy high nine it's actually slightly chamfered it feels quite nice so as mentioned this is an 8.4 inch display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 so that's really densely pixelated screen the processor is an mtk mt8173 so that's upper mid-tier processor with a power vr gx6250 gpu so that's a gpu that's specifically for gaming for graphics and as you can see um all the graphics on this game look great frame rates run at an optimal pace so i actually put this tablet to some benchmarks and it scored pretty good better than the t-class t10 in a lot of ways so i ran first pc mark pc mark it's a it's a benchmark that tests um like productivity so not quite gaming just productivity but i grabbed a screenshot of the score it scored a 4877 on pc mark that's really good for a budget tablet on this device the t-class t10 it only scored a 4070 so this one scores like scored at 800 more points and then on 3d mark which uh tests graphics it scored a 725 which is okay it's it's about mid-tier can't compete with the flagship but 725 is enough to run the major games also ran on geekbench if you care about that 1480 single core 2945 multi-core so that's very good a lot better than the budget phones i've tested let's go into device info really quick i'm just gonna zip through the specs because i want to talk more about the gaming and tablet experience so um, 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage. You are able to add a TF card to add more storage later. And that's it in terms of ports. You have a headphone jack, a, a port to charge the tablet, and a TF card slot. That's it. So, 4 gigs of RAM. As mentioned, the display is 2560 by 1600 resolution. And um, it runs Android 7.0. So uh, it's a pretty stock Android. Um, you see, look at settings, there's not much. So no gestures, no nothing. You have to swipe down from the top to bring notifications. You are able to expand on notifications like a smartphone. Although it's a little bit weird how narrow it is. And um, you get an app drawer here. And these are all the apps that come on the phone. Not including the games I downloaded. So not a lot of bloat. So no bloatware virtually. This is a clean software. One complaint I have is... You can't get rid of this Google bar, which I kind of don't like because I just want to get rid of it. But you are still able to use, okay, Google. Okay, Google. So you are still able to launch okay, Google by talking, basically. And then you're able to search. So as a tablet, Android tablet, Android 7.0, you, you can run Instagram on it and... um. Obviously, just on a display that's this uh, beautiful and this large, everything looks great. Especially when you go into Instagram stories that, um, you know, it's like an immersive experience because it fills up the whole screen. Unfortunately, you cannot hide the bottom navigation bar. So it's not as immersive as it could be, but still very damn good. Like this looks, this is a cute ass dog. Eagle Dollar, Eagle Lada, okay. So um, the apps run fine here. So you're able to scroll up and down. There's no lag. You can jump back and forth between apps by double tapping on the square button. And it happens relatively fast. Everything's been responsive so far. Look at how many apps I have open. So there's a camera on the back too. So it's a 5 megapixel camera on the back. And a two megapixel camera on the front, and they're just a barrel. They're just passable, you know. For a tablet, you don't want to use a tablet like you would a smartphone anyway. So the camera being not that good, I think it's okay. So let's check out this image here closely. This is a nighttime shot. The camera really struggles at night, as you can see. Wait, why is it not rotating? Oops, sorry, I actually locked it. So auto rotate. So you zoom closely, there's a lot of noise in this shot. This is a, you know, if you're comparing to a smartphone, this is terrible, but for a tablet, it's okay. And this is a selfie video that I recorded. Selfie camera in action, as you can 
can see through. It doesn't look that good. It's a little bit pixelated. I'm not sure how the sound is. But now the whole chest is not going to play back. Actually sounds okay, I think. You know, you're using um, using this to do Skype calls. I think it's serviceable. So this is a shot during the daytime. You see, dynamic range is kind of poor. It kind of overexposed the back with the sun shining directly, and then right here is just really dim. Details is okay though. I think the the speed with which it focuses is decent. So, uh, I wouldn't advise using this as your main camera. This is a gaming tablet or watching media. So, I played a bunch of games on this tablet, such as Brickneck, Snowboard the Fourth Phase, and Sonic Forces, and everything looked good. Frame rates were optimal, except the back of the tablet did get a little bit hot. So, now let's um, check out some video testing. One of the things I like about using this tablet and other tablets is that when you Google apps, you get the full desktop version, not the mobile version. So that means you're able to watch a video while scrolling other videos or comments. So you can be watching this and be like, all right, let me line up the next Sistar video. So let's check out this display. Looks beautiful. Colors are very punchy. So the sound, this is about 75% volume right here. So not that loud, but the problem is when you go up to 100%, it gets quite distorted. So it's a little bit distorted. The speakers overall ain't ain't that good. It's it's passable, but um, the good thing is, the speaker is in a good location. It's in the back like this. So that means when you're holding the device when you're gaming, no matter which way you're holding, I feel like it's hard to muffle. You're not gonna muffle it. It's not at the bottom, so your you know your palms not pressing against it. So let's check out some other apps. Like if you open Gmail, same thing. You get the full desktop version. As you can see, the apps open a little bit slower, uh, rotating too. So this definitely, you know, isn't like a flagship quality tablet. You can have to expect a little bit of weight basically between each app. Like when you open YouTube, there's a little bit of weight and now Instagram. So a little bit of a weight, not too fast, but not too bad. Oh wait, what the heck? So there's a 5,000 milliamp battery on this. So even though the display is a little bit large, it should be enough to last probably almost a full day. I don't know if it'll go a full day. When I unboxed this thing, it had about like, I think 70% battery. Right now it's down to 55. So after three hours of use of heavy gaming and all that, it dropped about 15%. So at this rate, it should be able to last all day with a 5,000 milliamp battery. I also like that you can actually hold the phone with one hand. So I can, in public, use this phone like I would a smartphone. Now there is no, um, you cannot put a SIM card in this. So you do need Wi-Fi connection. There's no cellular, there isn't a cellular modem in this. So you can't just put a SIM card in there and use it as a phone. But if you have internet connected, you can make, you know, Skype calls and all that. And um, I think this is this would be a good reading tablet too, because um, of the size, you can hold it in one hand and just scroll. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a reading mode like on a T Class T10, which I've really grown to like. So this is the T Class T10. Um, I really like that when you're reading something, that you can bring down a reading mode. When you go reading mode, it kind of just turns everything black and white, so it's easy on the eyes, and then I can read on the plane a lot better. I wish Chu had implemented that, but I guess the focus is on gaming. So uh, you look at the display. Right now, I have display on quite low, and uh, this display gets uh, not too bright. So this is max fall. Uh, this is max brightness, hundred percent, and it doesn't look that bright. I don't know if this will be able to be usable in the direct sunlight. Like if you go to a beach, I'm not sure it'll work. But indoors, it'll definitely be fine. So uh, this is it, the Chewy High 9. I'm gonna test it a little bit more. Might have another video coming. So um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.